Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys a video. Sorry, I am not ready like how I usually am. I already filmed this intro, but for some reason, <laughs> this part of the video got deleted. So I wanted to go ahead and redo this for you guys. I do guys, I want to show you guys these new sets. These ones are super, super glittery. I love these. And then these ones look so good. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys today was how I package my uh, my decals. So let me go ahead and grab a decal real quick. Okay, so these decals, they are, this one, it, this one was a mess up. So I was thinking about giving these as gifts inside of, um, inside of like people's order if they do order decals um just because with my site since some people order decals those are obviously people who do nails and then the ones who order the press on nails those it's because they want somebody to do the sets for them so i don't feel like they would have a purpose in them but i mean if i do have extra ones i'll I'll cut a few out so then you guys could go ahead and try them. But this is what the packaging for the decal looks like. And I'm going to sh show you guys step by step of how I do this. Um, the reason why I do it the way I do it. Um, and how to save you guys a little bit of money. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and get started. guys so these are some of the things that you are going to need you are going to need um this little thing to cut papers and then after you're going to need some cardstock i decided to get my in white and then after so the reason why i ended up getting this big cardstock was because so at the beginning of my business, um, I wanted cardstock for a few different reasons to do my sizing kits and doing my other stuff. But I did end up doing a whole pack of these papers for my sizing kit. So I kind of ended up running out of paper for that. But um, I wanted to show you guys how I use this paper for the cards as well. Just because this card, it only cost me $2, like around $2 for this card stock um even if you were to go to joann's if you get their card stock you could use the 50 percent off coupon because usually they always have that okay so what i wanted my decals to look like i wanted my logo to be on it i feel like for me that's very important or not or like my my business name i didn't want to do like my like a small logo like uh, i mean that's something i still need to figure out but the reason since I am not doing that right now is my brand is fairly new so um, if somebody does post this on their story I want other people to be able to see Opulence Nail Co type it in and find me easily so that's the reason for that I think maybe later on um, I will end up doing this or doing um, I will end up doing a, uh, a like just a simple logo um, I'm kind of debating which way to do it. I've been thinking about it a lot. So once I do find out, I mean, of course, you guys will end up knowing because you guys will see that the packaging is different. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's metallic. So the next thing that you guys will need are these little bags. And I like these. So with these i like these a lot better than some of the other ones i did end up trying to go to michael's and trying to find cellophane bags so when you look for them look for cellophane bags there's multiple different ways or different sizes of these so there's a lot of different sizes um so you could use them for a lot of different things even if you guys aren't packaging um, nail decals and you're packaging something else these are amazing because they're super super clear they're not cloudy and stuff and that was important for my packaging because I did end up buying two different packs of of like things that look like are like the little bags but all of them were cloudy and I don't know they just ended up looking horrible so basically ended up wasting money on that okay so 
Oh, and another thing is I wanted to make sure that it matched with the sides of these. So that's why I got the size that I did. Um, I know with some stuff it, it's not all going to match the side, but I felt like for the little bags, for me that was important. You can kind of see like they meet up at the ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and show you guys. So I am going to go ahead and get this paper and... I'll move this pack out of the way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this out. This thing, it has a little swivel arm that comes in and out. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go up to three inches. So it measures from in that line to the three inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Once my business does flourish and I'm able to, to have the luxury of spending more money on certain things like having these already cut down to size, um, that is something that I am going to be doing just because it will save me time in the long run and that's something that's important to me. Since I do have the time to do all of this, I'm able to do it and even if I didn't have the time, like. I mean, I think I would have hire someone to probably do this and help me out with some other things. Okay, so now that we cut these all down to three inches, we're going to cut them by two inches now. So you're going to want to put them this way and then put them up to the line and do two inches on all of them. You could double these, but um, I just kind of want to show you guys like how I do it. I mean, you guys could also even get one of those big cutters. That, those ones were kind of pricey and they were very bulky, so I didn't really want that. So, okay. So this is what they should look like. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest off camera. And then after I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with those tabs. So now that we're done with that, you are going to want to um, divide the 3 inches. So that will be 1.5. And then you're going to switch out this blade. So the, how you switch it out is kind of bend this. And then you see the blade at the bottom. And then with this one, it actually comes with another one right here. And this one, it's a scoring blade. So this one's not sharp at all. And when you do this, you guys are going to want to make sure that you go through it once and that you're not going through it twice um, just because if you do, you end up cutting through the paper. I've learned that the hard way and I messed up too many of these. Um, not proud of that. So you're going to want to get it in here and then you're going to want to score the paper and applying some pressure and then it'll make a line in there. So then once you guys are ready to use them, they will be nice and ready to be able to be folded, which I feel like that is perfect just because if you're anything like me, folding papers is not the easiest. I always end up getting it wrong before I get it right. So just because I know that this is kind of a little bit tedious, but since I have the time, of course, like that's why I do the things that I do just so I could save some money and um, do it this way. And if you guys wanted to put like a little piece of tape so you guys remember, that actually makes it a lot faster just because you just put it to where the tape is at and um, it makes it easier to not forget like where, where your line is that you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these off camera and then show you guys once I'm done. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to be doing is I like to take th these cards to an edge of the desk. And I'll, I could break this in half. And I like to put a little bit of a crease in there. Just so then also it's easier to fold when I need to. So I put a little... I. Because my the edge of my desk is a perfect square, so I just pressed it on there. You guys could pretty much do that on anything. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Just because even though it has a score in there, it sometimes tends to 
go off the line a little bit. So I mean, this will help me. So this is about how many I ended up making. I don't know how much this was. I didn't pay attention to my cuts. With the decals, I will do this in another video um, if you guys want me to show you guys how I make my decals. So first, it ends up coming like this. And these are small decals, so you're able to fit them on the nail perfectly. Um, I had measured them with the ring finger, and this was like the perfect size for the ring finger. So with each of my, my decals, it does come with 20 decals in one little package. So you guys do get your money's worth if you're charging accordingly. So make sure that when you guys are designing nails and stuff, make sure you charge accordingly. And then, of course, you'll end up receiving your money back um, with, like, clients and whatnot. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get a bag. So this is what the bag looks like. I like to make sure that the, the, tab, the long tab is at the front. So then when I fold over the top, it'll be in the back. So, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and peel this off and then put it down. And you're going to want to make sure that you leave room up at the top because if you don't, once you go and staple, there's not, you're going to end up stapling to the product and that's not needed. You don't want to end up stapling your product because it'll end up making holes and your customer won't be happy if she ended up paying for that and then it's pretty much ruined and you're only able to get a few uses out of it all right now you are going to go ahead and get your logo or your your brand name and put it on one of these little cards so this is kind of more of a tedious step i know not everybody's going to be wanting to do their details like this but if you have stickers and stuff you guys could go ahead and put your stickers on there and they'll still look amazing all right you guys so that's what it looks like this is what's left over from that okay so now you're going to get your weeding tool and then you guys are going to go ahead and weed like this transfer tape left over from another project so I'm just going to go ahead and reuse that just because it is still sticky. And so what the transfer tape does is it allows you to put the tape on here without having to like peel off these letters because I don't know if you guys noticed when I was peeling this piece off that some of the letters they did want to come up. So this basically picks it all up so it will be easier for you when you want to like basically stamp it down. Because you could see right here like how stringy those if I could get it to focus, I'll show you guys. But you guys could see how stringy it is. So you want to scrape this, and then you're going to want to flip it over. And the best way I find to peel these is to actually go from this side. And if it does lift up on you, push it back down. And then kind of like make a, a like round out in certain areas that are sticking because it'll help flap it back down so you see how the o is right here then you're just going to want to kind of like peel it away from there and there you go there is your logo um this is the same way i do the boxes and yeah so i'm going to go ahead and place it on there i don't like to scrape too much when it comes to cardstock just because sometimes with this tape it is super super sticky and it will take the cardstock with it okay so i'm not going to show you guys all of those just because it is a little bit time consuming and so this is how i'm going to be doing this so i'm going to go ahead and get it put it to the edge and then also put it right here and then you're just going to want to staple down and it staples through the back. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my decals. These ones are the Gucci ones in white. And another Gucci in white. And then some Chanel ones. Gucci in black. Chanel in white. Louis Vuitton in black. And then this one is the Chanel in gold. 
I love the way the gold looks. Um, I also have these old English ones. I don't know if you guys have seen these ones, but these ones are awesome. I do really, really like these. Um, these are probably like one of my favorites because it, even if you see on these, oh wait, wrong box. So even if you guys see them on here, these are what the decals look like. I think this set, the next time I do it, I will do it in black. Look how pretty these are, you guys. All right, you guys. So that is pretty much it for the video. I do want to show you guys how I do an order in another video. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will go ahead and get back to you guys. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye.